Wow. What? Oh my god, somebody made a gluten-free baked good that was delicious. Oh my f***ing god, I'm throwing this out. Well, <laughs> Everybody, welcome to the Kitchen and Jorn Show. I'm Jorn, and that's me. Fritzy. <laughs> me. Hi, I'm Kitchen. That's Kitchen. So today's video is going to be really fun yes. because it is sponsored by Casetify, which we'll be talking about a little bit later. But we are also going to be trying some new items from a store we have not made a video about. That's right. Today yes. we are going to try some Target foods. Yes. So this video we are trying <laughs> all of Target's fresh breakfast food. So this is all of Target's food brands. For those who live outside of the U.S., Target is a large department store that also has a grocery store within it. We basically picked all the breakfast items that were in a free or a fridge. Yes. Basically, it was like all a non shelf stable breakfast items. It's breakfast things that are like special. So, like, we didn't pick up like eggs and bacon. Like, if we tried eggs, you would yell at us. But we tried, like, we, were, we have the Target branded, like, special breakfast sausages. We have their waffles. We have their yogurt. We have a lot of fun things. And as you know, our rating system for videos like this, we go from just okay, pretty good, really great, and if you absolutely suck, it's penalty box bad. Blah, 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 blah. You do not want to be there. So I think the first category of things we're trying is all of their waffles. Yes. Okay, so the first two we are going to be trying are the Good and Gather, which is Target's brand, buttermilk waffles, mm -hmm. and the Belgian waffles. Belgian with vanilla. Oh, yummy. Okay, vanilla. so these can be made in the toaster, toaster, I think. You know, classic waffle. Mine's going to be square if I can ever get it out. <laughs> Don't be shy. Come here. Come here. Okay, there you go. There you go, yay! yay! I guess let's try the Belgian waffle. Wash let's, let's try the Belgian waffle first. Let's try the Belgian waffle first. I don't know why I put the syrup on first. It's a Belgian waffle. We love the Belgian waffle. Pretty light and fluffy. Oh, it's a pretty good. Mm -hmm. I feel like you oh. want a, to an, a waffle to be like, Kind of light, you know, but also have that fun crunchiness, and this definitely achieved both of those goals. Considering this is frozen, it's actually a really good at crisping up. Honestly, like the Belgian waffle, really great. <laughs> really great. This is just the Good and Gather standard buttermilk waffle. I could have grabbed that for you. <laughs> Can you maybe cut me off a piece first? Are you making the same mistake I've? <laughs> I was gonna drizzle and then cut in half. Oh, I don't want half. Well, okay, then no one's getting half. <laughs> and now no one will have it. <laughs> Video is over. Oh. It's like a bad ego waffle. It crisped up, but instead of enhancing the flavor, it just kind of made it taste like like crackery. This is like large format cereal. Yeah. You know, it's not, it's nothing to write home about. This guy. This guy is like this soft just... and fluffy and like the perfect amount of toast. Yeah, you could pass this off as something you made. Yeah. You know, if you were a liar. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm waffle, 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 just, just okay. Just okay. Just okay. All right, more waffles, more waffles. Pretty... Catch, Kristen! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay, it's not made of Casetify case. You can't just throw it everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, should we talk about Casetify? Because if that were a phone and it's... <laughs> Hi, welcome. We interrupt this video because we want to talk to you about Casetify, the world's most popular tech accessories brand, known for their protective cases and their global collaborations. They've done collabs with Pokemon, with Livia Rodrigo. I actually already owned a Casetify case, and, oh, you and did. that is fun because now I have a new one. Yeah, you did. <laughs> So Casetify's clear case is their most requested case. Mm -hmm. And that's because it has so many options for customization. So the Casetify clear cases, they are built in with UV Defender technology and they are designed to prevent yellowing. I used to have a different clear case from a different company. After about six months of use, it had got super discolored and yellow and it made my screen look super dirty. And it honestly like non, the yellowing protection is a key with a clear case. Our phone cases go through a lot, okay? We're not nice mommies to our phones. No. As you may have guessed, Kristen and I have broken a lot of phones over the years. We've broken a lot of things. Broken a lot of phones. Yeah, a lot of things. My phone has gone down several flights of stairs. What I'm saying is if you are Kristen and or Jen, you need a high quality phone case. Yeah. You just do. Case to five cases are minimal yet very strong. They exceed military grade drop test standards. You can drop these cases from 6.6 .6 feet. Should I drop my case right now? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna drop my, well. <laughs> You drop your phone. I dropped my, we just did another drop test. You didn't Wait, just, my phone's also fine. You didn't just drop it, you like hurtled it into the air. Can I throw your phone again? Yeah. Hey! hey! Ah! Wow, 
Wow, actually the case didn't even crack. Yeah, I mean, this is the thing. If they can survive the military's drop test standards, they can survive the Jennifer drop test standards. As like a so case defy customer before we got this brand deal, <laughs> I knew they were good cases because my phone has been through some stuff. Something else I just learned, this case is made from 65% recycled material. And mine says, you're gay. That's custom though. That's custom. Though. By the way, have we talked about Case Defy's customization options? Case Defy offers a lot of different customization options, different colors. You can get your name put on your phone or other, you know, fun phrases. You can use any iPhone MagSafe accessories with the clear case. Look at that little circle. Yeah. It's a little power circle. It's a little power circle. There she is. Obviously, we're having a good time with our Case Defy cases. And, and like throwing our phones all around, making a lot of noise. If you also want to have fun with your own Case Defy case, you can use our link below to get 15% off your Case Defy order. That's casedefy.com backslash kitchen and Jordan. That's our names. It's our names. It's our names. We can put those on the phone case. <laughs> we can also put those on the phone case. We can put those on the, the phone, phone case. We can put whatever we want on the phone case. It's like, why am I The phone case is our oyster. <laughs> Thank you to Case Defy for sponsoring this video. Do you want to get back to the rest of the video? Let's go back to the video. Wee -wee 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 okay, we oh. can get this since Let's you get threw this it. waffle. You threw it over here. It, okay. Now we're trying the home style waffles. I'm and not... the buttermilk and vanilla protein waffles. So we waffles are done. Home style. And then this is the buttermilk and vanilla protein waffles. I don't really see how the home style is going to be appreciably different from the buttermilk. I also don't even really know what home style means. Like, yeah, it's like saying like they this... look identical. Someone gave a sh about this waffle is basically, it seems like the only like stochastic yeah. difference. Home style. It's like your mom would have made if she loved you. <laughs> that's worse. It's chewy. I'm actually gonna try some without the syrup. Wow, that's worse, yeah. Yeah, the buttermilk <laughs> made the other waffle taste like creamier. I don't know, this is just kind of got a grainy texture. It's really chewy. <laughs> home style. Yeah, home style is bad. <laughs> You made it at home and you shouldn't have. <laughs> the home style waffles, mm, just okay. Just okay. Just okay. The buttermilk and vanilla, whoa. The, bana, uh, blah, 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 blah. the buttermilk and vanilla protein, protein waffles. waffles. We shall try right now. Mm, messily. I really like this actually. For a healthy waffle, it's not bad. I guess like the, the way I would qualify this food is like a nutritionally boosted food. Mm. So like this food just happens to have some additional things that you might want. Like yeah, more extra prote protein. More protein, more whole grain. So like it's sort, of, it's sort of like nutritionally boosted. Yeah. I can understand people not loving the texture because it is slightly grainy, it's but- a little, It's a little like, like- You can taste that there's like, it's, it's nutritionally It's a little boosted. ham sandwich made of cardboard. Yeah. It's a little bit like Mwah. Yeah, it's but- like corned beef on concrete. Honestly, I actually really liked it. I thought the vanilla, was like a nice flavor profile. That is pretty, pretty good. good. I'm not like, woo! Yeah. I'm not like super excited. I mean, obviously- It's not the Belgian waffle. The Belgian waffle was, was actually like, like best delicious. in class. Yeah. That thing was delicious. But the buttermilk and vanilla protein waffles? Yeah, pretty, pretty good. good. Definitely second place. Yeah. So the next items we're gonna be trying are, are the Good & Gather branded yogurts. All the yogurts. All the breakfast yogurts. These are all the, well, it's just all These the yogurts. These are all the yogurts. All the yogurts. Yeah, all the yogurts. I wanted to try the strawberry yogurt first. This, this is the Good & Gather strawberry blended Greek non-fat yogurt. Pretty pale yogurt. Like you can see there's little chunks of strawberries. Just just do this. I kinda want a chunk of strawberry. They're really small. Yeah, I mean I figured. <laughs> Are you? I wanna see this chunk you were so excited about. <laughs> this chunk you simply had to have. Let me see it. Well you let me see that chunk you wanted. <laughs> They're not supposed to be chunks, it's blended. There's chunks in here. Those look, are seeds, look, those are strawberry look, seeds. Look, look, look. But they're not supposed look, to be there. Look. So the fact that you didn't have any was like not by design. Okay, look, I found a chunk. Well, let me see it. Hold on. <laughs> see, I actually found one of my own. All right, well. <laughs> <laughs> you took my chunk. I, I coveted thy neighbor's chunk. Did you like the yogurt? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty creamy. It's actually pretty good, yeah. Pretty tart. Yeah. <laughs> actually, my thing about yogurt is I, I know you want it to be like a little bit sour, but I don't want it to be so sour that I go. And this is like a good blend of like sweet and sour. This is good granola yogurt. Mm -hmm. These are pretty good. These are pretty good. Okay. All right. This is the vanilla honey Greek yogurt. A little bit of yogurt for you. That's fine. Yeah, just whatever. A little bit of yogurt for me. That immediately hurt my sweet. teeth because of how sweet it was. That's pretty, oh boy, that's pretty sweet. If you're gonna eat a lot of sugar, does it really need to be in the form of yogurt? I was the thing, I was like, you if know, you wanna eat something this sweet, just get ice cream. Just get something good. Like, yeah. it's like, you know, at this point, it's like eating a taco salad. Like, what are you doing? Right. I just, just eat like, a taco. <laughs> you're fooling no one. No. I think like if you, 
for some reason just like love honey and you love yogurt, it's like your favorite texture, then great. But it is, it is very, very sweet. This one is not like disgusting, but it's I think this okay. is just okay. It's just okay. And we can safely say it's it. too much. Yeah. Oh, it's just the vanilla Greek yogurt. Yeah. So it's just the plain. So vanilla. no honey, just no vanilla. Honey, just vanilla. Just vanilla. Oof. Mm. Texture wise, that you smell know, cottage cheesy texture, which is like not as like I loving. All right, let's give it a try. Okay. Pretty standard Greek yogurt, creamy, not too sweet. This is actually pretty good. This is good granola yogurt. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's fine. I appreciate that it's not like overly sour. It is a little tart. It's just okay. Yeah. It's not canceled. Okay, so next category is going to be sausages. They're pre-cooked. We are gonna warm them up on the stove just to like give them a little bit Target of that flavor. Target has a ton of different flavors of special sausages. Yeah. It's very funny. Yeah. So the first one we're trying is the Anjuli smoked chicken sausage. So it's Andui. Angeline. Andouille. Chicken sausage, on, Angelina on, Jolie. It's the Andouille chicken sausage. I don't even know if that was right. Andouille smoked, smoked chicken, chicken sausage. sausage. See, you made me mess up. I didn't. This is gonna become your eye. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I think I like it because it tastes like a hot dog. <laughs> I've eaten actually like three hot dogs this week. I, I was a little sick. My doctor said, get some nitrates in you. <laughs> your doctor was like, you need a hot beef injection. You need some Oscar Mayer. <laughs> A little spicy, but like not really. Not really. Um, I could see like when you dress them up with a bun and some condiments, pretty tasty. They, like when you think of andouille sausage, you think of like spicy sausage, right? Yeah. And like this is definitely like andouille junior. It's yeah. like andouille for beginners. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think for that reason, it's kind of just okay. Yeah, it's baby's first andouille. Yeah, not oh. super flavorful or spicy. I would not undo that. The little ones are also chicken sausage, but they are apple and maple flavored. The andouille sausage has a hot heat warning. It's not that spicy. No, and this one says mild heat, so like it's gonna be even less spicy. So it's gonna be like water. Yeah. I don't like my sausages to be sweet. I also don't really like maple. So for me, this is like not really that great. I like a sweet sausage. I think the sausage would be perfect if it were fried. I think you put this in a frying pan, delicious. I think in the microwave, Testing your luck. So like this sausage has is small, right? Yeah. So it has like a smaller amount of surface. It has like a larger amount of surface area relative to the amount of meat it has, right? Yeah. Which means that I think if you fried this guy up and got the casing to be sort of more crispy, crispy, I think it would be delicious because then yeah. you get a lot of crispiness per meat bite. Yeah. And I think that like say with a sausage like this, it would be less. I guess possible and effective, you yeah. know? If you like a sweet sausage and you want to fry up your sausages, it's gonna be, be delicious. pretty good. Yeah, yeah just okay. It's just okay, but I think it's in preparation. Yeah. All right, next sausage. The next sausage we're gonna be trying, which I'm kind of excited about, is the jalapeno and cheddar cheese smoked chicken sausage. Mm, I mean, you love a cheese dog. This is medium heat, jeez. Yeah, I, this is not gonna be hot, because the hot one tasted like nothing. Yeah, it tasted like, honestly, yeah. freezer meat. Seeing like the cheese ooze from a sausage, you don't want to see how the sausage oh, is yeah. made. I don't want to know how they made this. Don't tell me. <laughs> okay, this one tastes like a bad hot dog. I don't taste the cheese. I taste the jalapeno a little bit, which is not spicy at all. You know when you bite into like a sausage and it kind of has like a sort of rubbery taste? That's sort of how I would describe this. One time when I was trying to diet and I didn't really know how to eat, I was like, why don't I just like microwave a chicken breast till it's cooked and then put salsa on it. I thought like, well, as long as it has salsa on it, there will be some <laughs> flavor. This is like if someone turned that idea and like distilled it into a sausage. And it's not good. Man, I guess it is penalty box bad, honestly. I don't want to eat this. I hate it, which is sad because it has cheese in I it. I actually like thought it was really, I mean, as someone who regularly ate cheese filled hot dogs as a child. Yeah. This I is, like sausages. These are all chicken sausages and it's just, Chicken is just it's not as hard good. It's sausage. not as good as beef. It just isn't. <laughs> so this is the uh, Italian style chicken sausage. There's red pepper, mozzarella, and provolone cheese in this. You know what? I will believe the cheese is in there when I see it. <laughs> that thing just, yeah, it just spit at yeah. you. It was mad. It heard me talking shit. There's definitely cheese in there. Hmm. <laughs> it actually isn't bad. Mm -mm. This might be the best one, I think. Yeah, very unappealing to look at. Don't make eye contact, but. Don't look directly into his eye. Don't look directly into his eye, but it'll show you how you die. <laughs> this is actually pretty flavorful, and it like has, it's not spicy, but it definitely, you can taste the spices. I think for a chicken sausage, it's pretty good. Yeah. I think chicken sausages are just never gonna be as good as pork sausage or beef sausage. Yeah. But I think that like this, 
sausage is assisted by the fact that like in addition to the big spices it also has some cheese which i think is lending a little bit more fat to the blend yeah i don't know i mean this next one also has cheese because the next one this is the apple, apple and gouda. gouda cheese sausage this one theoretically should be good what the f no penalty box bad penalty box bad that is disgusting oh my f God, I'm throwing this out. Bye. Bye. I think in this context, you're not a fan of sweet sausage. The juices were like, uh, this. I thought this was absolutely disgusting and I think it's penalty box bad, but. Okay, that's fine, we'll go with it. I just don't think chicken sausage is that good. We are now on to the muffin section of this video. Yes. And we are on the Good & Gather gluten-free, oh my God. We're gonna be trying the Good & Gather gluten-free blueberry muffins and the Good & Gather gluten-free double chocolate muffins. I would like to try the chocolate ones first because I think chocolate's good. I love it. Also, what's fun fact is these muffins were made with zucchini. Zucchinis, yeah. So they're like vegetables, kind of. Kind of. Oh my gosh. These are so good. Mm, really good. These are so good. What the? F these are made with zucchini? We cooked, these were in the microwave for 30 seconds. Freaking delicious. I'm, no. keep, I'm keeping these. You're not getting these. I'm gonna take a few. Oh my God, really? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Zucchini is- <laughs> Sorry, I'm just- I'm, I'm ejaculating muffins for her. <laughs> oh my god, somebody made a gluten-free baked good that was delicious. That's crazy. Wow! The double chocolate gluten-free muffins, really great. <laughs> really <laughs> good. Well, let's see, let's try the blueberry one. Maybe being a kid is fun. Oh, this is crazy because you can see the zucchini in this one. Oh, well. Okay, right. These are really good. Wow. What? This came from the freezer. Like it's not from just like- From the freezer. It's the flavor, yeah, but it's also the texture. Like it's really like- the Texture is good. Fluffy it's, and like- They feel fresh. And they're, they are a little crisp on the outside. Holy- It's just crazy, 30 seconds in the microwave. Wow, oh my God, these are also delicious. These, these are, are really great. Blowing me out, blowing my pants out of the river. I don't know what pants were doing in the river, but they're blown out of there now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, we found a gluten-free food that doesn't taste like trash. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, yeah, I guess we should move on to next things, but like, sorry, there were no jokes there. Cause like, this I'm, I'm so I mean, impressed. Good. What the hell? The last thing we're gonna try are this spinach and egg white frittata. And the mushroom and three cheese egg white frittata. And they look- <laughs> They look like little witch tits. Yeah. <laughs> They're kind of shrivelly. Okay, spinach and egg white frittata with mozzarella cheese. You know what, I'm just gonna- that's actually pretty good. It's a little bland, but I think if you just put some hot sauce on this, this is pretty good. Pretty good. I honestly thought it was just gonna taste like mushy wet goop. And, and it doesn't. No, it's not. And it actually is like a little bit crispy. Okay, let's try the mushroom and egg cheese white. Yeah. Three cheese egg white, egg, egg guy. I think that one's better. It is better. The mushrooms are like pretty tasty. The cheese is like definitely present. Texture wise, it's about the same. Like it's a little bit mushy, a little bit crispy on the outside kind of, but tasty. They say to microwave these. I personally think it wouldn't be the worst idea to fry these in a pan. Their main texture issue is there's a little bit too much water. And I think if you could evaporate some of that off, these are winners. Yeah. I think the spinach frittata is just okay. I think the mushroom frittata is pretty good. I think so too. And I think that both of these things could be bumped up if you like gave them a little bit. Yeah, if you cooked them on the stove. Yeah, which is high praise. For the last item we're trying is high praise. Yeah. Usually by the end of it, we're just like, like I, just... I don't care. I never want to. <laughs> <laughs> Usually by the end of it, I'm just like, throw it into the sun. But this one, I'm like, nah, it's, you can stay. You can stay. <laughs> okay, that's our video. That's our video. That's our video. Oh gosh, honestly, all right. Overall, their products, the Good Gather, they're, they're, they're okay. Are there any other types of Target Good gather categories you want a uh, snacks yeah are there any other like are there a bunch of cereals we should try yeah let us know in the comments you if know? you're a big target head this is our first trip so we don't really know but, yeah uh, you know anyway thank you to case to five for sponsoring this video yes thank you to all of you for checking it out and uh we'll catch you next time on the kitchen journey show bye. bye oh my gosh i'm gonna eat some of those muffins we have so many dishes to do i know yeah